Zenith Royal 2000. I've been looking for one of these for a while, um, but they kind of carry a high price, uh, like on eBay, like 50, 60 bucks more than I'm willing to pay. And most of them that I've seen are kind of, you know, kind of rough on the cosmetics. This one's a little dirty, but it should clean up okay. And I got it at the ham fest for 20 bucks which I was happy about um, whoever owned it used that Dymo labeling tape and put the radio stations he listened to on the dials there at KNX and KFWB KFWB used to be a news station but I think it's Spanish language now but KNX is still news and these other ones I'm not really familiar with on the FM side the uh, like I'm turning the tuning dial the cord is broken to that and I don't know why but I'm sure it'll become apparent when the tape comes off uh, they put electrical tape on the handle for some reason right, here's a look inside Everything's there, pretty much. Um, something interesting that the owner did, I guess, was um, record the dates that he put the batteries in and, and tested them. Starts uh, March 30th of 71, and it says Sears. Maybe there are Sears batteries. And it goes all the way through 72, 74, 76, 78. And then he went seven years to March of 85, and then another four years to 1989. And it's interesting to me because it kind of starts around the time I was born and ends in my college days. At this, uh, yellowed masking tape is held up it's a uh, 12 volt set eight batteries so let me get some power on it and see what it does or doesn't do so it looks like the tuning to the tuning capacitor is still hooked up but the the dials aren't turning Hmm. Seems like it has good sensitivity, but, but very low audio on AM. All right, FM. It's there, but pretty low. Okay, so both bands are affected. Looks like I'll have to uh, probably start in the audio section. All right, there's a schematic in the back cover, so I have no excuse for not getting this thing going. You're looking at the audio section. There's three stages, audio, a driver, and a push-pull output with a output transformer. All germanium, PNP it looks like. Well, actually there's some NPNs in there too. Kind of a mishmash. Alright, once you get the knobs off the front, three screws off the front that bolt the chassis into the radio disconnect your speaker wires these uh, FM antennas uh, these screws take this uh, this plate here off and then you can get it slip it out real easy set it aside and 
two Phillips on each side connecting the chassis to the to the case and a quarter inch connecting the volume control to the case. I think I could just lift the chassis out now. It seems to be pretty loose in there. Let's see. A little bit of a tight squeeze here. It's very heavy actually for a transistor radio chassis. It's probably one of the heaviest I've ever lifted out. These guys, I'll have to find out if they're AM antenna or what. It's obviously designed to come off. There we go. Set our speaker aside. The antenna bar must be in the handle because these uh, wires go up into the handle and they're in the vicinity of the tuner, so maybe they're. There's the AM antenna bar there. Huh. Okay. There's some kind of little piece of like wire, like a that's meant to I don't know, touch the chassis or something. Maybe it's a ground RF ground point or something. This is the first audio transistor gain of 52. So it's doing something. So gain of gain of 68 on the uh, audio driver transistor. But why am I hearing any audio at all? That's bizarre. Let me make sure I've got the right one. Okay. Well, I finally, after much poking around, located the faulty component, and it's the white capacitor that's under that little black one that I just added that was the coupler into the first pardon me second the driver transistor that was the coupler from the center the wiper of the volume control into the base of the driver transistor and uh, I basically just removed one end of the original and, and then uh, sort of tacked that in over it. It was uh, very hard to get to it to, uh, to change it, but it has been done. So radio sounds like it has a lot more output now. Another thing I have to do is restring, replace the string here, uh, which looks like it broke between the tuning capacitor and the AM and FM tuning dials which are here I have one of them taken off um, gonna have to figure out how this strings together both of them are kinda like this one here on the right where there's uh, a hole in the side for the the wire to go in and we we'll have to figure out how all of that goes together Okay, I've been working on this radio for a while here. We got the dials restrung, but I've got a problem with the tone control. When you rotate it all the way to the left, it's uh, cutting the audio. Okay, here's the cap that I think may be bad. It looks like it's 0 .22 microfarad C43 on one side of the tone control and the wiper is it ground so if c43 
is leaking. That's probably the reason why you turn the tone control that way and the audio goes away. Okay, so here's the point .22 I spoke about. Um, I could have messed it up when I was in there soldering. I guess the side of the iron hit it and melted some of the outside case. Anyway, Radio Shack to the rescue from my uh, previous trip to buy out some of their old inventory a while back. Um, I had this, so we'll put that in there. All right, here it is, ready to be tested now. Here's a demo of our tone, low and high. Fat Leslie. Fat Leslie in Mississippi Queen. Hey, this is Jed the Fish in 95.5 KLOS. We're going to play a little game. Yes, we'll have a little game together. One. We'll, we'll hold hands and we'll play the last letter game. So, i can give you a clue. them are on the right. There's plenty on the left as well. Never told a soul about it. In fact, they engage in a vast conspiracy. This is going to be a conspiracy theorist, a speculation, conspiracy theories. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. Painting this type of picture only feeds the delusions of those who wear tinfoil hats around their house. You know, there have always been crazy people who gravitate, if they have schizophrenia, who gravitate toward conspiracy theories. Those true believers in the mystic power of New Age crystals, spirit channeling, of people who talk to trees. Now, I don't consider myself a conspiracy buff at all, but when they get a lot of coincidences, I get a little suspicious. Well, how does this term conspiracy theory get used, and what are... What are the purposes that it's used for? It, conspiracy theory is a little bit like the word uh, propaganda, and it's used specifically to discredit someone and to say, in effect, you're nuts. You're making it up or you don't. problems which can affect your everyday life that's where prostate complete by real health comes in prostate complete is the result of 20 years of experience as a leader in men's health the powerful formula in prostate complete supports natural <laughs> I'm the sales director. I'm the sales director. But when you post on indeed.com, you get the candidates just right for you. I'm a sales director with an MBA, over 10 years experience who's also fluent in Japanese. With Indeed, you can add screener questions for a less time-consuming route to your short list of qualified candidates. Arigato. Hiring's better when you've got your short list. Safe. At the evidence of your erratic behavior to determine whether or not it should be pulled. We don't have any indication that they went through a process here. Now, the White House pointed to what it described as Brennan's erratic conduct and behavior. President Trump takes a lot of criticism over his campaign slogan, Make America Great Again. But New York Governor Andrew Cuomo drew some gasps from the crowd at a bill signing event in New York City with this comment. We're not going to make America great again. It was never that great. <laughs> Cuomo seen as a potential Democratic contender in 2020, President Trump tweeted tonight, can you believe this is the governor of the highest tax state in the U.S., Andrew Cuomo, having a total meltdown. Closing arguments wrapped up in the bank fraud and tax evasion trial of former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort, the jury to begin deliberations in the morning. CBS's Paula Reed. In many ways, this is seen as a referendum on the legitimacy of the special counsel. We know